Hey guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. So the wedding season is going pretty strong all across the world and I decided to create a bridal look for you all. And this is a pink cut crease eye look and of course I paired it with a dark magenta pink lips. Before starting, if you are new here, then hi I am Nita, I upload makeup, skincare and beauty related videos almost every alternative day. Please take a moment to subscribe and please help my channel to grow even more. Also please share this video with your friends and family. It will mean a lot to me, trust me guys, please do so. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. First I'm taking this Wet n Wild Ultimate Eyebrow Pomade in the shade Espresso and I'm just drawing the borders on my brows first then I'll be filling it in using smaller strokes. I'm going to make my brows a bit darker and bolder because in wedding there will be harsh light and flash photography and in harsh light or flash photography your brows tend to look a bit lighter than usual. Now I'm just combing my brows with a spoolie so that there is no excess product. I'm taking this Elegal Pro Conceal HD Concealer in the shade uh, Natural, I believe, yes, Natural. And I'm just carving out uh, the borders of my brows so that my brows look well shaped and defined. I'm also applying the same concealer on my eyelids to prime them for eyeshadows. That is coming up next. Now I'm just blending everything out using a damp beauty sponge from L'Oreal. I'm using this uh, Wet n Wild Photo Focus uh, Loose Powder in the shade Banana and I'm just setting the concealer so that it does not crease. For my eyes, first I'm taking Cheer from my Makeup Revolution Emily Edits uh, The Wands Palette and with this ELF blending brush, I'm just applying it slightly above my crease because I have hooded eyes and if you do not have hooded eyes, then apply the crease directly onto your crease. I'm just blending up the pigmentation. This is a very nice um, brownish pink color which is perfect for this kind of look. And I'm taking Pi 5 which is a dark brown color and I'm just deepening up my crease because of course I'm going to create cut crease and for that my crease has to be a bit darker and defined. And the brush that I'm using is a small crease brush from e.l.f. Now with the same concealer, I'm just cutting my crease and I'm going to create a half cut crease look here and for that I'm using a lip brush from Puna Store. If you're looking for affordable good quality brushes, you can give it a shot, these brushes are so damn good. I'm just diffusing the borders with my finger so that blending becomes easier later on. I'm taking Heartbeat which is a berry toned pinkish shimmery color and with my finger I'm just applying it all over on the concealer. Now taking Pi Fi again I'm just applying it on my crease again to just give my crease a bit depth. I'm also applying uh, Pi Fi on my outer V area as well. Now I'm taking Dark and Alif which is a matte black eyeshadow and with a pencil brush again from punastra i'm applying it on my outer v area and i'm taking chia again and i'm going to apply it between the black eyeshadow and the shimmery pink eyeshadow to create a nice gradation from a darker shade to a lighter shade and the brush that i'm using is from elf I'm taking Love Tons which is a nice berry toned pink color and with this wet and wild crease brush I'm just diffusing the borders so that there is a nice gradation. I'm going to uh, upload several bridal makeup looks for you all so please stay tuned and if you have any video request then feel free to comment down below. And I'm taking this Revlon Photo Ready Ayat in Fuchsia Flash and I'm going to apply it all over on that berry toned pink color. Of course it is a bridal makeup and a bridal makeup is nearly impossible without having glitters. Before continuing with my eye makeup I'm going to finish my face for that. First I'm taking this e.l.f. poreless primer and I'm applying it all over on my face and neck. I already moisturized my face about half an hour ago. For color correcting, I'm using this Illegal uh, Pro Conceal color corrector in orange and I'm just applying it on, around my mouth, underneath my eyes and wherever I have pigmentations and dark spots. And I'm just blending everything out using my finger. 
for a bridal makeup color grading is must otherwise your foundation or your concealer may look a bit grayish in color and we don't want that for my foundation i'm using this maybelline a uh, dream satin liquid foundation in the shade pure beige and i'm just buffing it in using the same damp beauty sponge from l'oreal this is a medium to full coverage foundation and perfect for people with dry to normal skin i'm just layering it up again to make it like a full 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 coverage foundation love the finish of this foundation i'm cream contouring my face for that i'm using uh this wet and wild mega glow contour stick in this shade where is walnut and you know that real light like the forehead hollows of my cheek my nose my jawline again for a bridal makeup cream contouring is must as i always say blend out your um cream contour your cheek contour and your forehead contour in an upward direction and your jawline in a downward direction and i'm using my finger for blending out my nose contour now for highlighting and concealing i'm using the same illegal pro conceal concealer in natural and i'm just applying it underneath my eyes in a bigger triangular shape on the center of my forehead down the bridge of my nose Cupid bow chain on the sides of my mouth and just under where I placed my cream contour. Again, I'm just blending everything out with the same damn beauty sponge. As I always say, blending out your highlighting concealer is really, really important. Otherwise, it looks like a straight white mark and it does not look good at all. I'm taking the same uh, banana powder and I'm setting my under eyes and my smile lines. I know it's a bit darker than my skin tone but the concealer that I used is way too light than my skin tone. So the banana powder kinda balances out everything. For my entire face I'm taking this Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder in transparent and with this powder puff I'm just setting my entire face and neck. I'm baking my under eyes and my smile lines because I get creases on those areas pretty quickly. Baking will prevent a creasing. Also, if I get any fallout due to the eyeshadows, it will catch that fallout and I can dust it off later without spoiling my base. Now for finishing my eyes, first I'm tightlining my eyes with this Jordana Isliner Retractable Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Jet Black. This is a smudge proof and long lasting eyeliner. Now I'm just smudging out my entire lower lash line using the matte black eyeshadow and for that I'm using an angled brush from Puna store. Now I'm taking Love Tones which is the berry toned pink color and I'm smudging out my lower lash line even more. Now I'm taking this NYX eyeliner and I'm going to create a nice wing here. There's a reason why I decided to use this eyeliner because this eyeliner glides on smoothly on top of any glitter. It does not uh, cause any pulling or tugging or anything like that. So it's a great option for glitters. And I'm just coating my top and bottom lashes with this uh, Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. And I'm just highlighting my brow bones and my inner corners with my Milani highlighter in the shade Afterglow. I'm just dusting off the excess powder with this e.l.f. highlighting brush. For my falsies, I'm using this Ardell 3D Fox Mink Lashes in 811 of the camera and here is the final eye look. And I'm going to finish my face. For that, first I'm taking this Wet n Wild uh, Mega Glow Contour Palette in the shade Caramel Toppy and with this uh, Wet n Wild Contour Brush, I'm just powder contouring my face. Now if you do a powder contour on top of a cream contour your contour um, tends to last longer and also it looks even prominent for my blush i'm using this wet and wild baked blush in dead to swear this is a very nice pinkish blush and the brush that i'm using is wet and wild blush brush for my highlighter, I'm using the same Milani highlighter in Afterglow and I'm just um, hitting the high points of my face like my cheekbones, 
This is a stunning highlighter. My chin, cupid bow, down the bridge of my nose, also the tip of my nose, the sides of my forehead. This brush is from Puna Store. I'm setting my entire makeup using this uh, NYX DV Finish Makeup Setting Spray. For my lips, first I'm lining my lips with this Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in the shade 12. And for my lips, I'm going with this uh, Milani uh, Amour Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Gorgeous. This is a stunning magenta pink color. Look at that, it is perfect for bridal makeup and it lasts all day long, it does not transfer at all. And that's pretty much it. And here's the complete look with all those jewelries, sari, etc. Uh, this sari belongs to my mother and all these jewelries are from Amazon.in. I will try to find the purchase link and mention it in the description bar below. So please go ahead and check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, then please do not forget to subscribe and also hit the like button. And if you are not following me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, please uh, do follow me there. All the links will be given in the description bar below. So please go ahead and check that out. Again, if you have any video requests, then feel free to comment down below. I will be more than happy to make it for you. So see you soon in my next one. Till then, bye and take care.